Well, I must say that this has been a really fun experience for me because like I've shared before, I've been not using my notes as a crutch, just following my own advice and tuning in, being in the now, being in the present moment, like having a theme for each session, but not using the notes as a, as a crutch, if you will. So I'm really practicing being in the moment when I'm speaking. So it's, it's wonderful, really is like, wow, I really do know this stuff. I really do have a connection to my inner being to, I'd even go so far as to say infinite wisdom because you know, it's like, we know this stuff. We, we all, everything we want, everything we need is, is within us. And all we need to do is quiet our minds enough to be in the moment and, and receive the messages and the intelligence. So I'm excited about today. I'm, and everyone, if you can mute yourselves for now, including you, Mr. Steve, He's already done that. And again, I will uh, go ahead and share a message from my inner being. I'm, you know, meditated this morning, meditated a little bit yesterday. And the theme for today is, um, it's, wait a minute, I want to say that it's, okay, it's tuning into satisfaction tuning into satisfaction and we we will actually do a a tuning session where we'll close our eyes I'll guide you through it's sort of like a guided visualization a little bit different we should have um, a guest that's gonna pop in and maybe one or two and we will love that if they do they said they will try and and do that she works during the day. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to go right ahead into the message, today's message, which is tuning into satisfaction. And because this series is about food is my friend, I want to say that we're going to look at tuning into satisfaction from a, a standpoint of... <clears throat> Satisfaction from food, but really you can use this for anything at all anything whatsoever Because it, as we said Previously, it doesn't have to be about the, the food if you want to feel better or if you want to create um, an improved relationship with food or with your body that You don't have to focus on that topic if you want to create more wealth or money. You don't have to focus on that topic. I think that's the thing that many of us get um, kind of tripped up a little bit is we think I, I've got to focus on that topic. I've got to focus on that topic. I've got to focus on my weight or I've got to focus on um, controlling my food. But really it's the letting go. That's where the power is. The power is in being in the moment and letting go and not necessarily focusing on the subject, especially if it doesn't feel good to do so. So it's more powerful to focus on something that feels good. It could be totally unrelated. It could be a topic totally unrelated. The name of the game is to feel better. So on the subject of tuning into satisfaction, we'll look at it from the perspective of tuning into satisfaction about food and about anything else, really. So somebody asked a question, I think it was Kelly, about how can you get satisfaction out of of food or um, cooking or what have you, when you don't enjoy cooking, when you don't in, in, enjoy cooking. So that's a really good question, Callie. She asked that on the um, 
the comments in the Facebook Live. And Anne Marie, if you have anything you want to share about it, that'd be great. But for I'm going to go ahead and share what I think about it. Is that I'm not really a person who cooks, uh, enjoys cooking. Actually, as I said before, my dad lives with us, and I pretty much cook for him every day, cook his dinner, and he eats differently than we do. He's like a meat and potatoes kind of guy, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm really not a meat and potatoes kind of girl. <laughs> so we, we eat very differently. So pretty much I make him what is he likes, and then I make myself something else. And I'm, I wouldn't say that I enjoy cooking that much because I um, would rather be doing other things. But I line up with it in the sense that it's sort of, it's like the way that maybe I take care of someone, I show my love to someone, I might cook something for my husband or my daughter. And so I line up with it. I wouldn't say that it's one of my passions in life. If I lived alone, I probably wouldn't cook much at all. I probably would just, you know, eat like salads or, or eat out or bring or eat things that don't <laughs> raw that you don't have to cook that much. Um, and once in a while I would cook and I would really get into it and, and make like a gourmet something uh, because I definitely could do it. I know how to follow a recipe. I could make amazing things, but it's just not one of my passions. So I line up with it, and who's to say that you've got to cook? If you're not feeling it, if if you're not being guided to do that, then what else can you do? Maybe if you live alone, then you don't have to cook as much, but if you have a small kids, maybe you feel like you, you do. So the bottom line is lining up with whatever it is that you want to do whatever it is that if you're going to choose it, then line up with it energetically. Um, the, the thing like in my book is it's about not forcing yourself to do something. But like in my case, I really do. Um, I really do need, need to cook. I hate to use the word need, but need to cook from my dad. So I line up my energy with it and I do it from a place of love. When I have found that I start resenting it, yeah, then it's like, I need to get a calibration. I need to get calibrated on this so I can feel better and line up with this. And so finding a way to line up, choose it. If you're going to choose it, then line up your energy with it. Yeah. So does, does that make sense, Anne-Marie? You're my audience today here. <laughs> Great. And if you're on the uh, live stream, you can go ahead and like or comment. Uh, I'm on Facebook. Yeah, go ahead, Amory. I want to share my experience about making food, cooking. Um, my history is, is it has not been fun to cook. It's just something I have to do because I was the mom in the house. Um, and I have a friend that really enjoy cooking. And I was just... How, what, how, what, what are your experience about it? And she could not explain, just she enjoyed. So for many years ago, I saw the movie uh, Eat, Pray and Love. And this was, she traveled to Italy and, and this to really taste food. For um, months or two ago, Peter, my husband, found a Danish program in, in television, a Syria, with a guy from Italy that make food. And what's come to my mind was, I love when I can see the color in food. If it's colorful, it really talks to me. If I can taste it, and taste the natural taste of things. I love that. But I have also figured out that I need to be creative when I go into the process of creating food and, and to cook food because 
if it's just something I can do because I have done it several times, it's boring for me. So I have figured out a way for me right now where I can see I am really a creative girl, so I need to bring that into my cooking in my kitchen also. And that helps me a little more to, okay, what's coming out today? How do how is the color into it? How is the taste into it? And that is really a new situation for me about food. When I really go, because I love eating salad, but I also begin to be aware that I cannot eat that whole year because it not tastes good or the whole year. So this to figure out, I need to find a way where I could be creative and express kind of express my mood today if I make a, 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 a made a paint a picture. It's the same way if I, I go into my food. So that is what I have figured out a kind of work for me right now. Yeah, I love that. I can really relate to that because I'm a creative person too. And I do have more fun when I follow, you know, a recipe or loosely follow a recipe and add my own, you know, colors and the, the, the smells of, you know, I love garlic and onions and just anything I, you know, make with that. And just, so you're getting into it more now. You're following your intuition and yeah. having it be fun and getting creative with it. And um, that's one of the things I want to say uh, to Kelly. That's great, Amory. Thank you. Because you find the fun in it uh, or line up with it. Or if you don't have to do it, then don't do it. Don't do anything that you don't really um, feel guided to do. Of course, like if you have a job and, and you and you go to work and you don't want to lose your job, yeah, then lie. it's easy to say, don't do anything you don't want to do. Well, I don't want to go to work. Okay, well then, <laughs> just just don't go to work. Well, that's really not what it means. It means lining up with, with whatever it is and then making it fun, like Amory did, with some creativity. And for me, it was lining up with it that... Um, I, I noticed, I actually got calibrated on it because I noticed that I was beginning to resent the fact that that uh, I was cooking so much. I mean, I raised my kids, I cooked for them, I should be done, you know? And then I, getting calibrated by one of the Evoke Method practitioners, I realized that I what, had this re resentment and then I calibrated, the, calibrated that up to a better feeling emotion and realizing you know, I'm so appreciative that my dad is alive and that um, we get to still be together and that I can, you know, I can do this and line up with this and enjoy it and then take off, you know, do takeout when I don't feel like cooking or do something else or so, yeah, about lining up with it. Good, good. Yes. Amory. And what I have figured out also is I have to be aware about the taste. So if it's it tastes good for me, it's much more easy for me to go in to enjoy my food and also to enjoy to eat it, uh, to make it. So that is one of the things, and that is really new. I, it's only about a year or a year and a half where I figured out I have to figure out how does my taste being satisfied? What, what's, what should I bring into the food that really tastes good for me so I enjoy the food and not just eat for eating, but eating for there is something in my, my mouth that wants to be alive. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. And that really is being in the moment. And what we're, you know, one of the big things that we're talking about with food is my friend is just really enjoying and celebrating and appreciating. And you can do that when you're, when you're in the moment and you're not judging and criticizing. You're just like in the moment, enjoying this 
taste. Because when you think about it, I mean, food can really be a way to help us be in the moment. Because um, I don't know about everybody else, but for me, I was a, a binge eater and I would, you know, lay down in front of the TV and just, I wasn't really even tasting the food, right? Because I was, I was feeling so critical of myself that I was in my head about that. And then I was just trying to numb myself so that I wasn't really present to the food. I could I wasn't even tasting it really. It was just some kind of habit that I was doing for relief to feel better. But the difference now is sort of like what Amory's saying, that experience of being so in the moment that you're able to really, really appreciate and taste the food, every morsel, just kind of pick out the different, maybe um, flavors or herbs or whatever it is that you, oh, what's in like, you know, I could, I'm not, I don't drink wine, but I could imagine if you're, you know, a wine connoisseur and you're like, oh, I, there's a hint of cinnamon or whatever, you know, just being a really, so in tune that you're, you're tasting every little bite and just, milking it and basking in that. I remember Esther Hicks and talking about, uh, or Abraham talking about Esther and Jer Jerry just like milking the, you know, the, the meals that they would have and they'd go to their favorite restaurants and just like, just basking in it, milking it. How, how much can you take it? How far can you take it in terms of milking this experience? And that is part of the food freedom formula because it may seem silly, it may seem obvious right now. Of course, you know, enjoying my food. Of course, that's that's common sense. But many of us really um, are we doing that? Just just if you're doing it, great. Kudos to you. And some of us are simply. Um, in the future or in the past judging our behavior so we're not able to be in the moment this is a great way to practice to be in the moment as as we as we said as i said in the previous sessions your power is in the moment so practicing enjoying your food actually gives you access to your power there's even a little section in my book um, and food is my friend that's like talks about orgasmic eating. I've interviewed people like not literally, but maybe, I don't know, where they're saying, yeah, eating is supposed to be like an orgasmic experience. It's supposed to be like, wow, this is so like incredible, like really enjoying every every little bite and flavor and taste. And just think about how that brings you into the present moment. I mean, I'm just realizing that now, like little light bulbs going off. Maybe that's why this is so wonderful because if I'm really um, savoring something and enjoying something, get feeling the satisfaction, it's really hard for me to be in the future worried about something. It's really not possible. It's impossible. It's impossible to be judging myself or criticizing myself if I am in the moment totally like basking in this experience of this certain food that I'm eating. Hi, Susan. Hi. <laughs> you're gonna love love your perfect timing. You're gonna love this conversation. Okay. Um, I'm gonna introduce Susan in a in a moment. See how we're doing. Yeah, perfect timing. So talking about how Susan, when you when when we're really, really, really enjoying our food in the moment, it's impossible to be judging or criticizing ourselves because we're so in the moment. So enjoying your food is actually okay, so I'm just like real I am just like putting this together like like having a light bulb moment myself. Like being in the moment, enjoying your food and feeling, you know, that satisfaction is a tool to help you be in the moment. 
and all your power is in the moment. So we can use food as a way to align ourselves. Yeah. Um, I'm just thrilled with, with that. <laughs> the, way that <laughs> the way that just came to this conversation, Anne-Marie, you know, because I never really thought of it like that, that being in the moment, enjoying my food, really savoring it, actually helps me be in the moment. Yes, Amory. What I have experienced also is food is for me really related to enjoying my life at all, to want to be in my life at all, be in my body. So it's also wonderful to see how that grows together and work together. So if I can enjoy my food a little more, step by step, that means also I begin to enjoy my life a little more. And when I enjoy my life a little more, I want to eat something. I want to have a relationship to food that matches my enjoying of my life. So it's really, uh, for me, it's really wonderful, uh, powerful experience of how life and eating really are working together. I love that. That is so beautiful. Really, really good, Anne-Marie. So the, the relationship with food helps you to enjoy your life more. I love that. That is right on, right on. And we'll um, go ahead and move to, uh, to Susan. We'll come back maybe to that, or we'll do the tuning exercise for satisfaction. But I wanna move to Susan because uh, she is working today and she's got a limited amount of time. And uh, I just wanted to say hi, Susan. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, something just came in. I have to answer here because the other team lead is in training. So give me one second here, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's we'll just mute you for a second. Just raise your hand when you come back. Yeah, well, I appreciate her coming on because I know she's, oh. Is she bad? Wait, wait, wait. You're, are you? You're muted. Um, you're muted still. So I asked you to unmute. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So um, was there something specific you wanted to ask me, Rhonda, or should I just? Uh... Well, let's just cut to the chase. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I want to. I want to um, honor your time. I wanted to just say uh, welcome to the next program, the Self Love Body Love and Food Freedom Program. Susan has been in a, uh, a few of the previous programs. And if you could just share briefly uh, why you're coming back, what you've gotten out of the past programs, how it's helped you. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, it's, I, there's so much that I've benefited from, from the programs, the book, you know, all of that. Um, and the, you know, private coaching for sure. Um, so I just wanted to touch on a couple of things. Um, so a little bit of my history, I started, my mom started me joining her with dieting when I was 10. So up until I was about uh, 56, so about 46 years of my life, I was in that deprivation diet culture mode. Um, didn't really know that there was another option. Um, so um, I was sort of on this journey already, but it was uh, really not in line with um, Abraham's teachings necessarily. In a way it was, and but a lot of things about it, it was a lot of, you know, <laughs> rebelling against diet culture. However, um, I know definitely that's what I needed to go through, but then started kind of softening that up a little bit. And, um, you know, Rhonda and I, I, I listened in for the thing yesterday and I remember that conversation. We talked about, you know, people with drug and alcohol problems, they don't have to do that, but you have to eat every day. And then all of a sudden we both had this light bulb moment. We get to eat every day. Like, Yes, you know, so that was that was a huge thing for me. And then also, um, we had uh, Rhonda had done the uh, evoke method with me, <clears throat> and it really shifted my 
my belief around what my body looks like and who may be attracted to it. I really didn't think that anybody could be. And it really shifted something in like very quickly I met someone now that didn't last for many reasons, but it was like, he absolutely adored and desired my body. And I was like, really? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll go with that. <laughs> you know? So it was, it was pretty cool. It was like, Oh, you know, it doesn't really matter. Right. Um, so that was really huge for me. So I know the evoke method really kind of helps you kind of, uh, shift things, you know, so it, it, there were a couple other things, but that was the main one. Um, cause we did the evoke method more than once, but then, um, you know, just feel sort of like a reset really, um, the evoke method. It's, 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 yeah, that's a good way to yeah. But it is resetting, kind yeah. of resetting your vibration, right? Yeah. Um, and then the the other main thing I really like about um, not only the book, but the course is that Rhonda is so um, open to whatever works for people. And I have been following Abraham's teachings for, I don't know, 12 or 15 years, whatever. And, and anything that resonates with that resonates with me. So I just feel like, when you can be accepting and non-judgmental and allowing of whatever it is you're um, talking about or thinking about or believing or feeling, you're on the right track. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, so that's what I, I feel. Um, yeah. 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 So that's, those are the main things that I wanted to just say about that because there's space for anybody who has, it doesn't, you know, I heard you yesterday, Anne-Marie, because I, again, listened to the recording, that you weren't understanding the whole thing about shame, but it doesn't matter. There, there's something there for everyone, even if that's not where you're at, you know. Um, and I love the way, you know, with the, the book, and I don't know if Rhonda's going to do it the same, but it was like breaking it down by steps. And the, there's those five steps that are, um, makes it make a lot of sense. Like Abraham talks about a lot of this stuff, but the practical application, okay, what do you know, of course, there's all the tools, there's the um, processes and all of that. Um, but it's, it just, um, it makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. The five steps in the book will be integrated <laughs> into the next program, just in a different way. You know, alignment is always number one. Um, starting a love affair with your, your body is always, I mean, that's, it's self-love. It's the, it's the whole thing. It's really what it's about. Self-love, self-acceptance, and then yes. who's your friend. And then, I, I mean, all the five steps are definitely there and we uh, will be going through them as well as the new material, the new downloads that I've been getting this past year. So yeah, absolutely. Well, that was really amazing. Thank you, Susan. We've had so much, so many wonderful conversations about this stuff. And I look forward to having more conversations. Um, just that whole, um, the diet culture thing. And, and, and yet there's space for anyone that's, that is on a food plan or following a, a you know, more structured way of eating. Like you said, you know, thank you for the acknowledgement that it's, it's really letting everyone find their lane and follow their own inner guidance everyone is is on their own path and that's the thing is learning how to trust yourself and trust yeah. your inner being yeah absolutely yeah um at, coming from a person who for many years i just always wanted to know what was what's working for you what you know what would you do what what do you think it's like i realize now that's not, you know, it, it's good to take a, you know, score of what other people are doing, but it's really not helpful ultimately for you. Yeah. You know, yeah. you got to follow your inner guidance. And if you're not in touch with it, you know, out of touch with your feelings, out of touch with your guidance, you know, of course you're going to do that. Yeah. Ask other people is what I mean. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if you go on any kind of a, you know, and, and I'll admit I'm on some of them just because I like, it's, it's, I like to learn. I like to see what's happening in the world and, you know, like keto Facebook group or intermittent fasting. And, and, and it's just, everyone's like constantly asking everyone else, what should I do? What should I do? Yeah. What should I do? And it's really, 
about going within, but isn't that part of the process? It's part of the journey. I mean, I was right. there for so yep. long. You, you were there for so long. And it, there's nothing wrong or right. It's just a lot of times it's just part of the indoctrination into getting into remembering who you really are. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I'm going to have to yes thank slink you. out of here so thank you so much for popping yeah oh and um if you need another um giveaway i i'd be happy to uh throw some of my soaps together and send them out to somebody i don't have a picture or anything but i make handmade soaps and they're lovely i only use essential oils and a lot of herbs and infusing herbs into them so they're they're really nice soaps so okay you, that's it I'm I'm going to do that today because okay. I, I have I love your soaps I love love yeah. love they are thank you so natural all natural ingredients so yes door prize today is um yay um is it uh, <laughs> goddess goddess green goddess gardens green goddess <clears throat> gardens yes thank you yes. Susan oh you're welcome yeah okay all right. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Okay, great. Well, I'm going to check the uh, Facebook Live, see if I can do that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can figure this out, this part out, do this part together. Um, okay. Can't really see anything there, it looks like. So I'm going to go into the tuning exercise. So everyone that will watch the replay, everyone that's here now can try it out, uh, can follow along. And we are going to tune into the emotion of satisfaction. <clears throat> and we are going to relate it for the purposes of, of this exercise to, to food, to experience you have had a memory that you've had and um, if you want to use a different experience of satisfaction other than food that's fine too so we'll start off by you know getting comfortable in your chair if you like to follow along and taking a deep breath in exhale I mean inhale I'm sorry <laughs> Looks like I need to center myself a little bit. So inhale. And exhale. We'll do this two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now, I'd like you to think of a time, it could be when you were a child, it could be just recently, as recent as yesterday or this morning, when you were enjoying something that you were eating, or when you were having this anticipation and excitement about what you're about to eat and you got to eat it and it was so delicious so amazing and if you can't think of a time I want you to imagine what that would be like to eat something and be so totally in the moment, so totally present, and just enjoying that food, whatever it is. It could have been Brussels sprouts. It could have been a piece of birthday cake. Could have been that lasagna 
for me, it's like my my grandmother was from Italy and she made the most amazing Italian dishes. We would have the most amazing holidays with the food that she made. And I think about the, actually I think about the baked ziti. Maybe that's why I like to make baked ziti on special occasions because it reminds me of that time such a happy time and just thinking about enjoying that food that baked seed and then she'd have a little salad with oil and vinegar and I don't know some kind of spice Italian spice so think of a memory time you were just so in the moment enjoying a food a particular food or again if you don't have one think of you know imagine it imagine what that would be like just being in the moment eating something and really not thinking about anything else except what you were eating and just so enjoying it. Just really noticing the flavor right now. Notice the flavor. Notice the texture in your mouth. Notice the smell. Imagine the smell right now of that food. Just um, feel the sense of satisfaction as you're chewing and tasting, and then as it's going down your esophagus and down into your stomach. Just notice the sense of satisfaction. And then I want you to really tap into that feeling of satisfaction. Tap into that feeling of satisfaction. Feel that feeling of satisfaction in your body. Now we are moving into the emotion, into feeling the feeling of satisfaction. Feel the feeling of satisfaction. And I'm going to ask you a question in a moment that may seem a little funny or unusual, but it's totally, totally normal to feel the emotion in your body. It's totally, totally normal because our emotions are felt in the body. All the emotions are experienced in our bodies. All the emotions are felt in our bodies. So I want you to tap into this feeling of satisfaction in your body. And now I'm going to ask you a question. Where in your body do you feel this feeling of satisfaction? Where in your body do you feel this feeling of satisfaction? Is it in your head, in your solar plexus, your stomach? Maybe you feel it in your heart. Where do you feel this feeling of satisfaction? in your body. Maybe it's in your arms or your legs. I normally feel satisfaction in my heart. But right now I'm feeling it in my upper stomach. I'm feeling the satisfaction in my upper stomach. Where are you feeling? this feeling of satisfaction. There's no wrong or right answer. 
wherever you feel it is perfect. Now, I want you to imagine doubling this feeling of satisfaction in your body. Just imagine doubling this feeling. And I want you to notice this feeling of satisfaction in your body. Is it heavy, light, or medium? In other words, is it made of something solid? Or is it made out of like air or liquid or energy? Now I want you to notice, is it moving or still? Maybe if it's energy, it's moving around or if it's liquid, it is. And just notice if it had a color, this feeling of satisfaction what color would it be? What color would it be? Blue or purple or white light? And just notice maybe it's maybe it's actually an object. Maybe it's made out of a a little rubber ball or a flying saucer. It could be anything, a little bunny rabbit. Just focus on what that feeling of satisfaction, what it is. If it was, if it was energy or liquid or an object. Now I want you again, double this feeling of satisfaction. Double this feeling of satisfaction. And as you double or even triple this feeling of satisfaction in your body, I want you to imagine, I want you to feel what happens with the energy or the object. As you double and triple this feeling of satisfaction, does the, does the energy or the air or the liquid, does it move more? Does it spread? throughout your body, or if it's an object, does it get bigger? Does it change colors? Your experience is perfectly fine. And if you're not seeing anything, that's perfectly fine too. Just relax and just listen to my voice and relax and breathe. There's no wrong or right way to do this exercise. We are simply tuning in to the emotion of satisfaction. Now, just notice, are there any other emotions you notice? Any other emotions besides satisfaction? Maybe it's appreciation or simply relaxation. If not, that's fine. Keep focusing on feeling the feeling of satisfaction in your body. I want you to notice what's happening in your body in this moment as you continue to focus on this feeling of satisfaction. And now I want to leave you with this thought that any time throughout the day, you can take a moment, take a few breaths, and tune into a desired emotion. Maybe it's satisfaction, maybe it's relaxation, maybe it's love. What emotion would I like to tune into is really all you can ask yourself, all you need to ask. And then just notice where in my body, as I tune into this emotion, where do I feel this emotion in my body? 
where do I feel this emotion in my body? And as I, as I focus on this emotion, maybe it's in my heart or my hands, I imagine what the color is, whatever comes to you. And then just imagine as you double the emotion, feeling the emotion, what happens in your body with the color, with, with the emotion, as if it was a thing in your body, what happens. And you can do this at any time. Just take a few moments before you open your eyes, a few seconds. Feel that feeling again once more before we open our eyes. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. No, this is a G. Yes, stretch. Mm. Wonderful. Let me just check the Facebook. All right. Okay. So how is that, Anne Marie? Relaxing. <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. Yeah, that's like the um, sort of the second half of the evoke method uh, technique, where um, Gina Mallison's evoke method technique, where we um, <clears throat> get to that better feeling thought or better feeling emotion. Um, but tuning is also wonderful when you're in a place where you can't, where you feel like, oh, I just you know, I want to tune into a good feeling emotion. I want to milk that feeling even more. Or I want to feel better. You can actually do that anytime you want. Yeah. Awesome. 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 So I am going to ask Steven to come in and we'll be doing, I wanted to add, we'll be doing some of these tuning sessions in the self love body love program. We'll be doing calibrations on Thursdays and uh, in the afternoons, and we will be doing um, some tuning sessions as well during the uh, the Wednesday night session. So for people who can um, can attend on only at night, it's we have a night session, and for people who can attend in the daytime, we have the day session. So it's really really works out uh, something new I'm doing. Uh, Steven, are you there? Okay, come on in for a second. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. What are those? Okay, thank you. So I think we have soaps from Susan. Soaps from Susan today. <laughs> and we have also... Um, the online course, the Love Your Body online course, or if you already have that, let me know and we will work something out. So, okay, so I'm going to this. Heather. Heather Saws. Yay! You are the winner of the soaps. So soaps from Susan. Goddesses. Green Goddess Soaps package. Congratulations, Heather. And then, yeah. And then, it's interesting to do the, the uh, winners after, after a tuning exercise. I'm so relaxed. <laughs> like, okay. Okay. And uh, Jill Hofer, you are the winner of the online course. Congratulations, Jill. Yay, 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 yay. Great. So get with me, Jill. Jill is 
my episode three podcast guest. Also, oh yeah, I want to say that Rachel Hambling, uh, she's my episode four podcast guest. We're getting that podcast ready to launch any day now. And she's been in uh, many of my programs and she is going to be in the next Self Love Body Love program. So excited about that because she is full of, um, well, let me just say everybody loves her. She's full of <laughs> love and so much generosity, uh, wisdom, and definitely has, uh, she could be teaching the course. I mean, she could be teaching a, a wealth, a course on law of attraction and wealth. She could be teaching a course on law of attraction and body love. So I am so thrilled to have her in the next program. She'll be dropping in when she can. She's in Australia. So really, really exciting news for that. And I want, there are some spots left for the bonus of the uh, two calibrations. Uh, when you join Self Love and Body Love, there's still some spots left to get those bonuses, which means you get two private sessions with me doing the Evoke method. And I, I just want to say the reason, I may have said this before, the reason I'm doing this is because I am a level uh, two practitioner, Evoke method practitioner. And my coach, Gina, she wants um, wants us to move up to a level three. So she she's uh, been nudging me to do a lot more sessions to get a lot more hours under my belt so that I can move up to a level three and help her with the programs that she has coming in, in um, very soon, you know, in February or March. So I really want to get more and more uh, hours under my belt with the Evoke Method, not that I have a lot I already have a lot of hours but this is what she has requested and I feel very in alignment with that that that's something I'm super excited about so that's why it may seem like why is she giving away so many free private sessions and that is why it's a win-win you're actually helping me and I'm helping you so it's a win-win and um, yeah, these are private sessions. Uh, they're not going to be posted online un unless, you know, you said, oh, yeah, it's okay. Go ahead. But otherwise, they're private, totally private. And those are so that's a that's a $300 value in itself. Just those two sessions. So, yeah, any other comments or um, anything at all? Amory or Tahira, uh, Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he is. He is. Okay. Um, no, that was great. Thank you. You're welcome, T Hero. You're welcome. So tomorrow we will have our last session uh, for this series, and then Wednesday we start the the program. And I would love to have you join us. We will have some two grand prizes tomorrow. It's a surprise what they are. And that is it for today. I want to thank everyone for, for coming on. I will post another uh, session that I've had with uh, someone on the Evoke Method so you can see what that's all about and uh, know what you're getting into if you want to join the program. Nobody uh, needs to do the Evoke Method. Uh, if you don't want to, I, we can just talk with the coaching sessions. Also, um, I just want to, you know, end with saying, as you can see with the people that have been coming on and talking about the previous programs, uh, Love Your Body programs, that this is definitely a, a journey. It's an unfolding. It's, it's not like, a, you know, like they used to say, you know, get rich quick or get skinny quick um, kind of a thing. Although, uh, like many in our program have created, attracted more fitness uh, into their lives, including myself, I've released 30 pounds. And then other, like Rachel has, has released uh, a lot of, a lot of weight, created the body she desires but you know she'll tell you it's not it's it's not about focusing on um deprivation as susan was saying today 
it's it's alignment 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 and she will share her story in the in the group as well you know um during our five weeks together she'll be in there sharing so it really is an unfolding it's a spiritual unfolding it's it's just a beautiful journey of, of more and more becoming of who we really are self-love and it's not about the food it is just not about the food Okay, well, thank you, Anne Marie, for being here, and Tahira, and everyone else on the Facebook Live. And please join me tomorrow. Would love to see your face or see you on the live if I can figure out how to look at both at the same time. But <laughs> anyway, okay, well, great. I will see you tomorrow.